I think as the past has shown us, there is no limit to the EP lab at St. Mary's General Hospital. We have patients who travel to St. Mary's from all over Ontario. They come partly because of the wait list. They come partly because of the awards that we've received. They come partly because of the care that we provide. And I think that the EP lab has started to develop a reputation as one of the most efficient, safest, and highest quality EP labs in Canada. The EP lab is a room with advanced computer mapping systems and a large x-ray camera where patients can undergo catheter ablation procedures using a variety of different technologies. It allows patients to have their care all localized here at St. Mary's General Hospital, from their cardiac surgeon to their interventional cardiologist to their cardiac electrophysiologist, all in the same place. And we know that in and of itself helps to promote patient care. We started doing our ablation procedures in January of 2021, and at that time we were using x-ray for every single procedure. So fluoroscopy has been used to guide catheters throughout the body for decades, if not longer. We would use x-ray to see where our catheters were once they entered the body, to guide them throughout different chambers of the heart to tell us where our catheters were as we performed our burning or freezing based procedures. However, we have uh, developed computer mapping systems that are able to track the catheter in real time. And when we combine that with advances in ultrasound imaging, the dependence on fluoroscopy has been slowly decreasing over time. We simply took that to another level by improving our ultrasound skills and also the equipment in the room with it being the most advanced equipment and the most advanced EP lab in Canada, we were able to completely eliminate fluoroscopy usage from a procedure and has now become our standard of care. Our nurses wrote on the board every time we successfully achieved a zero fluoroscopy procedure. I remember we put the one for our very first one. And it seemed like it was a long time until we hit two. But when we hit that, we celebrated it. And then three, and then four, and then 14, and then 34. And all of a sudden it became whether we still need to count anymore because we're doing it so often. The Heart Rhythm Program at St. Mary's General Hospital received a uh, Excellence in Fluoroscopy Reduction Award from Biosense Webster. This is an award that is given to centers that have performed a, a minimum of 100 atrial fibrillation ablations without the use of any x-ray. We are one of only three programs in Canada that have received this award. Tracking and celebrating each success, it really provided momentum to achieving this award. Their enthusiasm for this goal, I think we fed off, especially in the times when we were unsuccessful. And while it is, you know, the physician who receives the award at the award ceremony, it truly was a team effort throughout the entire process. All the things that were thought to be impossible I believe are now in that art of possible. And now we need to continue pushing the envelope so that we lead the rest of the heart rhythm centers. I would like to say thank you. Thank you for donating your time, energy, and money to the St. Mary's General Hospital and to the heart rhythm program and to the EP suite. There are a number of different places and good places that you could have spent your time, energy, and money on. I think choosing St. Mary's General Hospital gives us a great responsibility to use those resources efficiently and effectively to improve patient care. And by putting your trust in us, we will do our very best to make this the best cardiac center in Canada.